Good morning, this is new Eric Gardner, and uh, this is one of my worm bins. How's everybody doing this morning? Hope everybody's doing well. We're just going to go over um, and check three bins and feed three new bins that I had. Probably did them around uh, six, in between 611 and 613. Um, so, they're a couple of weeks old, almost a month old on some of them. So, about three weeks. This one has some banana peels. We know worms love banana peels, so. I'm going to put them back in there afterwards, but I'm going to bury them. So, we see a lot of activity already in that area where the uh, worms were. Eating that uh, banana up. So, as you see, it's just paper, newspaper, cardboard, coconut core, and uh, good moisture in this particular bin. So, we're just going to turn this bin over. Got to get some circulation in. I think it's something good to do. Some people uh, may not, but it's your preference. If you want to mix up the bin, I think it's good. If you have some food particles that are still on the top of your bin, you're kind of mixing them in. And also your moisture. The bin's going to be a little more moist at the bottom. So, kind of flipping it over. Mixing it up a little bit. Get some air circulation in there. Nice, beautiful worms. It's a nice populated uh, bin. So, we're looking good there. Good moisture. You do upset the worms a little bit, but uh, they calm down after a couple of minutes when you're done. And you're just breaking up the clumps. Because when you put it in, it mats down after a while. And then that way you can get some moisture in there. Move the moisture around. And that's all you really want to do. Just kind of just move the product around. Like I said, I'm going to just bury these uh, banana peels. Just going to bury them. Let them eat them down there. Because you know how the banana peels are. After you sit in here for a while, they actually will uh, start to come up and move around so we'll let them have them down there and I mean and there's all levels of your of your bin so by putting stuff lower some worms will stay at the bottom they don't always come up to the top and eat they'll eat the stuff that's down towards the bottom so uh, that's what I wind up doing, is just putting it down there so the bottom dwellers, we got a straggler here, a nice little fatty, um, and that's what, that's all, that's all we're going to do, and then I'm just going to uh, feed this bin, I had some frozen scraps of food, and uh, I just blend it up, put it in the blender, and that's what it kind of looks like. I blend it a little long to get it nice and mushy. It was frozen, so, I mean, definitely one of the reasons you want to freeze it is any uh, 
pathogens that you might have in it, you kill it. And also, it breaks down the cells of the food. So it makes it a little easier when you're blending it. Just gonna give them two scoops. I don't put paper down or anything like that. As it starts to uh, break down, it'll add some moisture to the bin anyway. Um, but this is their first feeding. I have given them dry food, but this is their first uh, bit of scraps, green matter. And all it is is some bananas, some apples, cucumber peels, some tomatoes without the seeds, and other scraps, some lettuce and things like that. And that's all I do. So that's one of the bins that we had. Actually, I'm going to show you one more thing on, on the bins. I don't, uh, let me turn it the other way so you can see it. There's actually a little uh, wire here. And what I do is, when you're feeding the worms your bins, you're gonna get fruit flies. No matter if you bury the food or you don't, you're gonna get some, some uh, fruit flies. So what I do is, this is a fly trap glue trap and all I do is just hook it onto there if I can get it in the hole and that's it and then that will kind of catch any flies I don't know if you've seen it but so we're going to go to the other bin what, that was done on 611. This one was fed some uh, alpaca manure. I mean, if you look at these two bins, Like on the top, the other bin still had quite a bit of newspaper. This one doesn't have as quite as much of the newspaper as the other one did. And sometimes your bins will work different. This one, wasn't as compact as the other one was, but uh, nice, nice moisture. There is uh, quite a bit of uh, fruit flies. I don't know if this one has a, uh, a trap in here, fly trap. But I'm gonna add one to it. I don't know if this one I set up. Yeah, it has one in there. And if you can see, it's fruit full of flies, fruit flies. So it does work, it does catch the fruit flies. And that's what you wanna do. So I'm gonna change this one out. But uh, before I do that, I'm going to feed this bin also. And that's all I'm doing is I'm just putting some air into it, loosening it up, and also checking for moisture, any bug issues, which we, we saw the flies, fruit flies. Um, so, so we'll treat that again. But other than that, this bin is good. Good moisture, it looks good. And some of your bins are, are, are gonna have more, more, uh, are gonna be a little more alive than others as far as
being a little more active as far as, you know, your paper, newspaper being devoured quicker. But that's all we're that's all we're gonna do is I just put another trap in this one, a new trap in this one. And like I said, we're gonna feed it. Once again, I don't put any newspaper down. I don't overfeed my bin, so I'm not really worried about the excess uh, moisture. But that's all we do. And this particular bin, I don't have a uh, piece of filter fabric that I put over. It helps keep the moisture down. Um, but that's all right. With the flies that I've seen, fruit flies, I'm just going to let it not have one. That's bin number two. One more bin. which was done on uh, 613 so if you're if you're looking at that we had one done on 627 611 and 613 and uh, all these bins are totally different. Now, I mean, look at look at this one. This one was done somewhere around the other, close to the same time, and there's really no newspaper in here. They have devoured the newspaper. And it's, it's also the biology that's in here also is what uh, also goes through the paper and the worms eat it. You know, I've said it a thousand times. If, the, if you forget the, don't have any scraps, you don't feed your worms any type of manure, um, you don't... Uh, have dry food that you feed them they will eat whatever's in the bin I mean there's tons of worms this particular worm bin is uh, highly populated I mean there's tons of worms in there and this worm bin was already not done too long ago It's almost a month old, and the newspaper is all gone. But that's fine, fine with me. I just got to pay attention to the moisture level now, because also the newspaper holds moisture. And this bin is moist. So, but it's good. I'm going to feed this one also, do the same thing. And that's all you want to really do. Is if you're feeding them, at least with me. If I'm feeding my uh, worms any type of green waste, green matter, scraps, whatever you want to call it, I uh, immediately after I see the food gone, I don't feed them again. I start to feed them dry matter. Just so any remnants of food that's in there gives them the opportunity to eat it all. So, but 
that's pretty much all I do. This one already has a uh, a fly trap in it, so we don't need to change it. It's in good shape. And then I'm just putting over back over the uh, filter fabric, and that bin is good. We're all set. And that's just the feeding of three bins. Um, and with that, like I said, all we did was check on the moisture, mix the worms up so we can get some air going through there, through the uh, castings, and it keeps them happy, you know, to be able to move freely through it. So um, this bin, I'll just say this particular bin, I'll pay attention to. I probably will take off the fabric because it is a little uh little moist um so i want to dry it out a little bit so that's what i'll do once they eat all the food after the food is gone i'll wind up taking the filter fabric off and allow them to kind of dry the castings out by not adding any uh any barrier so all right once again this is new era gardener and we just fed three bins and just checked three bins. It's that quick. I have uh, 17 bins. So I have a couple of bins to go through. But uh, right now, not all bins are going to be fed. But this is basically what I do. And what you should do is when you want to feed your bins, also look at the material. Mix the material up um, so that this way you get any moisture that's trapped down to the bottom. Bring it up to the top. All right, enjoy the rest of your day. This is New Era Gardener. Thank you for watching.